There's kind of a large log jam down here that's created this big pooled area. And you can see over to the side that water is flowing overland on some of the banks over there. It's very near the bank right here. Uh, typically that bank is uh, another 20 feet out. Uh, this is an amazing process. It's a crucial process. Uh, it has to do with floodplain conduct conductivity. The only way it's is it successful in reducing flood flows and reducing sediment load and uh, keeping the port enough clean is if this floodplain is left alone. That is no development, no buildings, no park benches, no trailer courts, no warehouses, no restaurants. Just leave it alone and let it be the buffer that it needs to do. And mankind thinks he can come in and do a better job and make a big channel and stuff like that. Ain't gonna work. Just leave the channel alone and it'll do what it's supposed to do. But you gotta give up, you know, a couple hundred yards on either side of the river, which uh, property rights advocates don't like it, but uh, if it floods, they're not gonna like it anyway. So uh, that's my story.